Hello and welcome to Anjali's Bake Affair. The winter has started to intensify and so has my need for a comforting hot drink to have curled up in bed or the sofa with a good movie or a novel. So let me share with you today this easy and wonderful recipe for that steaming hot glass of luscious, decadent and sinful French hot chocolate. What you need for making this hot chocolate is milk. I recommend using a full fat milk. You need some cinnamon, some chopped dark chocolate, vanilla, cocoa powder unsweetened, salt, nutmeg powder that's totally optional and uh, about the cinnamon you can use uh, the sticks that are available or you can use cinnamon bark. To begin, take a thick bottomed pan and pour in the milk. Turn on the heat and add in your cinnamon sticks or cinnamon bark, whichever you're using. I'm going to use both because I want a really intense cinnamon flavor here. Now add in the vanilla. I'm using uh, my vanilla bean paste. You can use any vanilla extract that you have here. Of course, I recommend the best quality available. Keep stirring the milk. I'm also using a pinch of nutmeg powder, but that's completely optional. Now let the milk come to a simmer and let it simmer for about four to five minutes. Uh, stirring all the while, of course with the cinnamon sticks in it and then take them out. The cinnamon by now has already imparted enough flavor to the milk. You make sure to subscribe to my channel right away if you still haven't done so for many more such recipes. Now we'll add in the cocoa powder, stir it in very well into the milk. and then the chopped dark chocolate. Mix it well into the milk and make sure that it melts nicely into it and does not get stuck to the bottom. So you need to keep stirring your milk. Try to use the best possible quality of vanilla and, and chocolate that you can find. Once the chocolate is completely melted and mixed into the milk, your hot chocolate is technically ready, but I suggest straining it once for that smooth creamy finish. So I'm going to strain it into another clean pan here. Now one important thing here, the longer you cook your milk, the thicker and more creamy your hot chocolate is going to end up. Now I'm going to add just about a pinch of salt and this salt is going to enhance the sweetness and all the other flavors of our chocolate. And if you want it even more thick than this, you can cook it for a little while longer. Our French hot chocolate is now all ready to pour into glasses. How luscious and decadent does that look? Serve it with a stick of cinnamon and enjoy your winters. Till next time, bye-bye and take care.